Prof, how will you evaluate Governor Akredolu's administration's needs assessment in the area of health care, a core point in the Governor's redeemed agenda? We can only say that we have done enough that has made the state to have the necessary uh, recognition all over the country. Uh, you, re you realize that in the last few weeks, uh, the state was uh, uh, assessed to be the state with the lowest poverty rate. And I can tell you a lot of these indices that were used have a lot to do with the health system as well as the entrepreneur activity of the governor. Uh, the primary health care centers in Ondo states are working very perfectly. We are doing the health under one roof. And I can tell you a lot of the citizens are gaining, uh, having their health needs taken care of. Aside that, there are so many interventions that the government is putting in place in terms of health. And uh, you have talked about the Abia Mamatana Health uh, uh, maternal and infant uh, health scheme. With the oranges coming in place, uh, you know that we are doing well getting all the civil servants and the premium is paid by the government as well as the civil servants, 60% uh, from the government and only 40% from the civil service uh, servants. And we are gradually going to meet the uh, informal sector, which is the green health insurance scheme. So what we are saying is that Akredolu administration has prioritized health even within the Redeem agenda and he's putting every effort to ensure that the people of the state are in a healthy state. The workers who had hitherto been having issues with the salary and as you know the salary backlog has uh, been uh, taken care of. We are having just about a month uh, to go. And I can tell you that everybody is in high spirit, in high morale, and uh, the citizens are also em enjoying the benefit of those health services. Thank you so much, Professor Fadili. Uh, let's, let's go to health matters. Stroke is a challenge that is more or less becoming uh, recurring. Uh, health challenge both among the young, the middle age, and the aged people. Uh, what, what advice do you have for people generally so that, uh, well, to understand they can mitigate uh, stroke and uh, for the, the, what are the symptoms that one should look forward to? Stroke has no free symptoms. Stroke will strike someone. And once we have been stri striking, you have stroke. Okay. The thing is, what are those predisposing factors or some of those things that can cause stroke. Number one is hypertension. Anybody who is hypertensive has six times increased risk of having stroke. The second one is diabetes mellitus. Anybody who is diabetic has two times risk, increased risk compared to the population of having stroke. The third one is hyperlipidemia. It is only known when you test your lipid profile. It's having a high direct relationship with people having stroke. Family history of people who have had stroke uh, is also very important. Again, some diseases like sickle cell anemia, uh, the sickless, they can have blockage of the vessels within the brain and they can have stroke. And the important thing is everybody prays to become old. But one of the major things that being increasing, uh, being growing old has is that we tend to have hypertension that can lead to stroke. So for anybody who has stroke, he will have any of these diseases. And the way to prevent stroke is to ensure if you are hypertensive, if you are not hypertensive, check your blood pressure very regularly, at least once every six months. 
if you are hypertensive, ensure you keep your blood pressure in control. If you are not diabetic, ensure that you do your blood sugar from time to time to check your blood sugar level. And if you are found to be diabetic, ensure you follow the treatment regimen. The same can be said of hyperlipidemia. And that is one area that you will not see it. So those who are high, who are hyper who has hyperlipidemia can only know if they do tests. Okay? We know for sickle cell anemia, we know for other family of uh, history of stroke. So our advice is that it is important for us to do regular medical checkup. Go to the hospital, visit your physician, they will tell you the test you want to do. When you finish doing it, go back to meet him and he can assess you. And uh, sincerely, at this age, we do not suppose we are not supposed to see people coming down with stroke. It is because we have not taken good care of ourselves that lead to people having stroke. Well, thank you so much, Professor Fadule, for our time. Uh, I have been engaging uh, in discourse with Professor Francis Adida Fadule, special o -O OON, special advisor to uh, Undusted Government on Health Matters. And that is how far I will be able to go on the Polity Roundtable today. Thank you so much, Professor Fadule, for your time. Thank you very much. My and, pleasure. Uh, until another edition of the Polity Roundtable, I am your host, Stephen Ferry.